have been very blessed in my uh, professional path and I've um, had a whole host of really, really very good uh, experiences from when I started my career after I'd uh, graduated from America and I worked at uh, SL World. It was very different because back then Gorai was uh, really, really far away and very, very hard to get to but um, the experience of working on an amusement park was very unique and um, it was a wonderful opportunity. Uh, from there, life moved on and um, there were issues because um, I wasn't living with my family. I had to set up home on my own in Mumbai. So facing a few of those hurdles was quite an experience when you're uh, in your early 20s and um, went through all of those and with a lot of help from all the wonderful people that um, life sent along my path. Yes, finally um, meeting the man of my life and getting married and uh, having a family of my own. Uh, again, we grow up thinking we we'll have certain things certain ways, but life never always does it the way um, you may, may have planned it. And uh, part of, I believe, a woman's strength is the ability to overcome whatever comes her way and um, make the most of it and, and go on and excel and uh, still uh, you know, grow stronger and stronger with every uh, every passing experience and every passing year. And, um, so now um, I'm at this very happy place where um, I work with uh, with my husband. That too has been a bit of a a learning experience. Coming from a design background and doing a job that is completely non-related to design has been. A very interesting growth experience for me. I think having a creative, uh, a creative mindset has always brought out ways by which I've been able to deal with things maybe differently to how somebody who's only trained in that particular aspect of management may have dealt with it. At AHC, I've learned that being a woman from a very different background has helped me a lot in terms of inquiring in ways that um, maybe other people may not have thought of inquiring and getting solutions that are very different to the situations so that it's been a completely different way of looking at things and a very creative way of looking at things and resolving certain uh, issues that uh, maybe somebody else, whether they're a lady or a gent, uh, may not have looked at in the same way as I've done. And I've had a lot of support from all our team members. And we've come a long way in the years that I've been helping out at AHC. But I've also seen that um, we have a lot more professional applicants as uh, female applicants. And that is really nice for me and a lot of our people are very happy with our female staff, not that we ever make any difference between a male or a female, um, but a few of the comments are that yes, they are very, very committed and they're very dedicated because um, I think as females we generally are very dedicated to whatever we take on. I am definitely that way and I'm very happy to see that a lot of others uh, do that as well. Words of guidance is, I guess, that um, just be who you are, be who you want to be, and there's no difference in this world. I don't see it at all. I've never ever faced an issue of not being accepted or wanted or anything like that for the sex that I am. I've never needed to overcome that hurdle and yeah, just go out and uh, live and be whoever you want to be that will make you happy and do what you want to do in this world to make it a better place. So I'd like to say that 
um, you know the best protection a woman has is courage as a, a famous saying went and a couple of defeats should ever, never ever put you down so just pick it up and go where you want to go, be who you want to be and consistently follow your dreams.